studio. Ever since I've known him, in fact, he's been in his studio seven days a week. He starts at a certain time. He walks from his uh, apartment on 15th Street on the east side over to the west side, and in between, he'll stop off at the, the farmer's market and get lunch, you know, get his uh, loaf of bread, something to make a nice soup. And uh, he makes soup for his employees and, you know, has nice cheeses and all sorts of good things. And he's there every day till 6 o'clock. So he paints every day. Every day. Every day. Even they, they, he and Emily spend a little time on a Saturday and go to openings. Uh, they might go uh, to some museums on Sunday afternoons. Um, but he's there. He's a committed artist. And that's all he's ever known. So in these days especially, uh, it's so important for him to get as much working time in as possible without any interruption. Well, Wolf, that's a, a nice segue into spending a few minutes talking about our history together, which dates back to 1978. It's hard to believe. Yeah, well, I remember you were a curator then for the Mint Museum. I was. And yeah. you, came, you came to New York to collect paintings that people were giving away as tax deductions. In those days, you could do that. Yes. And uh, I think you got a half a dozen paintings of mine or something like that. By that time, uh, you asked me to have a show. Yes. And you had those paintings in your van, and the van got broken into. We lost those six paintings, and then um, uh, you went to uh, Detective Volpe from the, um, uh, the uh, New York Police Department, who is who's the art uh, theft detective yes. specialist. Yeah. And, he, and Volpe asked you, um, he says, are these paintings very expensive? And uh, as my prices were then, they were rather cheap, you know. And you said no. And then Volpe asked him, well, are they pretty? And you said yes, much to my uh, um, distaste. You know? <laughs> because you're not supposed to be pretty, you know. But anyway, my paintings, I suppose, were pretty. And... Um, so Volpe said, well, if they're not expensive and they're pretty, you'll never see them again. And this is our 15th exhibition together. Good Lord. I can't even remember that far back. There are so many people who love your work, Wolf, and love you. It's a real privilege to have you here again and to, for me to have the opportunity to show these early works. I, the first painting of yours I ever saw was one of those great paintings from the 60s. And it, it bowled me over then, and it does still to this day. Well, I'm, I'm glad it does. And I must say, I'm a lot less nervous about this painting, seeing them hanging here with fancy frames around them than I was when I had them in my studio at the time, you know. Well, thank you for taking this time with us. Well, thank you for inviting me down and treating me so well and making all this fuss around. You're worth it. Good.